All right, let's take a look at a frequency distribution. So we are going to create a grouped frequency distribution for this set of data here. So this is just test scores from a class and there are 15 total test scores on here. So what I wanna do is I wanna find the lowest score, which here is 33 and the highest score is 100. And then I'm gonna create my classes. So a lot of the time the classes are already going to be created for you, but sometimes you have to create them on your own. So here we're gonna start, so 33 is my lowest. I'm gonna say 31 to 40. And then I'm gonna go up from there. So then I have 41 to 50, 51 to 60, 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and then 91 to 100. Then I'm gonna do the frequency from each class. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna count how many are in the score 31 to 40. So I just have this one here. So that's just a frequency of one. 41 to 50, let's see. I've got 47, so just one. 51 to 60, this one here, 56, that's one. 61 to 70, we've got a 70, so one, two, three, four. Four in that range. 71 to 80, I've got one, two, two. 81 to 90, we've got one, two, three, three in that range, and then 91 to 100, one, two, three. Okay, so this is just how many times the uh, there are scores in these classes, okay, in that range. Okay, we wanna add that together, make sure we got all of them, so three, seven, nine, 12, 15. There's 15. So now what we want is the relative frequency And the relative frequency is just the percentage. So you're just going to divide. So here I would just go one divided by the total number, 15. So one divided by 15, let's see what we got here. Oh, let's see, there we go. One divided by 15, 0.06. I'm gonna round that up to 0 0.07. Okay, and it is okay to round. This one is also one divided by 15. And so is this one. So those all have relative frequencies of 0 0.07. Then I have four divided by 15. That gives me 0 0.27. I have two divided by 15, 0 0.13. And then three divided by 15 gives me 0 0.2 or 0 0.20. Those are all of my relative frequencies. The cumulative frequency is you are just adding as you go along, cumulative. So 0 0.07, then I add with this one, 0 0.07 plus 0 0.07, 0 0.14. 0 0.14 plus 0 0.07, 0 0.21. 0 0.21 plus 0.27 would be 0.48. 0.48 plus 0.13 would give me, that would be 0.61, let me just check. Yeah, 0.61. And then add 0.2, so 0.81, and then add 0.2, 1.01. So you're adding as you go. Now, these all add up to 1.01, that's okay. I rounded here up, and I rounded here, I believe, up, okay, and here. So because there was rounding, this is gonna be maybe 0.99 or 1.01, that's fine. If it's like 1.05, then you wanna check with your frequencies. So we have the chart filled out. Now we just wanna answer the questions. So the width of each class, you're going to take the lower limits and subtract. So it's just 41 minus 31, 10. And that's all you have to do there. The percentage of students who scored 80% or lower. So let's take a look here. You have 80, here's the score of 80, or lower. So it would be everything from here up. Go over to your cumulative frequency. Everything from here up, 61.61. So that would be 61%. 
the percentage of students who scored 71 or higher, well, here's 71 and then higher. So now you would want to go this way. So this one, we would just need to add up these frequencies because this would be scores of 71 or higher. So that would be, let's see if I add those together, three, and then that would be five. So 53%. The percentage of students who scored 81 or higher, now I'm looking from here up, 81 to 100. So that would be 0.2 plus 0.2, that would be a 40%. And then the mean of the data. There's only 15 values here, and I think all of your assignment questions go up to 30. So you really could just find the mean by adding these together. That's probably the easier way. The proper way to find the mean Here's the formula for you. It is um, the sum. Oh, let me get a pen. There we go. The sum of the midpoint times the frequency over the total number. So midpoints would be in between 31 and 40. So, oops, right here. 31 plus 40 divided by 2. So 35.5 would be the midpoint added that in here 35.5 then this one would be 45.5 55.5 and so on okay and you would want to do this if you had really big groups of data this one again you could just find the mean normally but you would go 35.5 times 1 Multiply, 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 divide by 15. Okay, so we could do that. I'm going to skip that. I'm just showing you that's how you would do it. You would create another column, M times F, and then add that column. Here, I can just find the data just by adding these numbers together. So let's just go ahead and do that. We've got, let's see. Okay, so 1,104 divided by 15. So 73.6 is the mean. And that should be everything you need to do for the questions.